Hello everyone and uh, yes, hello Monty. No, I haven't time to play, I've got work to do. Good boy. Hello everyone, sorry about the interruption. I was once asked, why do I keep unboxing vacuum cleaners? I had to think about it. And well, <laughs> unboxing vacuum cleaners is my raison d'etre. I unbox vacuum cleaners, therefore I am. But to answer that criticism or comment, I've decided to unbox a toilet for you today. Yes, we have here a Stamford well-hung pan, sorry, wall-hung pan, model WBD 10722. And this comes from Wholesale Domestic Bathroom S Superstore. Can we see the box? Thank you. So, um, I hope you like a bit of a change of pace because, well, yeah, it does get a bit samey unboxing vacuums and other floor care products. So, a toilet, that's something different, isn't it? Can't wait to try it out and hang it on the wall. Uh, oh dear, it's not a toilet. Well, we knew it wasn't a toilet, didn't we? Because I've done a thumbnail showing a vacuum cleaner, so clearly we know. I'm not going to unbox a toilet for you. I'm going to unbox another Hoover Ranger Senior type vacuum cleaner from the 70s. Right, well, if Monty lets me, let's take everything out of the box, assemble it, and have a closer look. <laughs> I know, Monty, you're not used to seeing me unboxing vacuums, are you? Shake hands. Shake hands. No? Right. Yeah, show your bits to the viewing public. I'll have to censor that. Now, I've just <laughs> I've just noticed something wrong with this. Just as I took it out of the box, it was rather thrown in. And apparently this was, I think this was a loft find. And I hadn't really seen one of these until I saw it on eBay. I thought, oh, it looks American. But apparently, well, this hood, I think this style of hood was available in America. And also, it was more common in Australia. Excuse me, Monty. Um, and I didn't know we got this machine. I don't know if it was an exclusive or a limited model for some reason. But it's based on the Hoover Ranger. In fact, if you've, you've seen the videos I've done for the sort of avocado green Ranger, I believe the hood is interchangeable. Um, and I'm a little bit perturbed and concerned that this hood, we might be getting a look at the motor. Yes, we're going to have a look at the motor. I wasn't expecting to show you the motor um, because this hood's loose for some reason. Let's try and get the... I'm sure it's not screwed down at all. Are you going to come off? It's almost there, folks. I don't want to break anything, obviously. It's quite a rare model, this, apparently. There we go. <sighs> well, there's the underside of the hood. And here we can see the cleaner itself oh, still has the suppressor. Yes, that ticking time bomb is just here at the back. Um, yeah, a cursory glance, it looks okay. I'm not going to remove it yet. There's no headlight bulb either. I do have some on order from Amazon. Small bayonet fitting, I think, yes, that should fit. It's one of the LED ones I've used successfully in other Hoover Seniors. So, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering why, mm, I dread to think, why was this loose? It's only secured by two screws and they're both fully screwed up, if you know what I mean. So I'm wondering if we've got damage. Ah, uh, this has been, mm, this has had an attempted repair job. There's been some gluing action around here. So, I have a feeling that should have a metal insert, perhaps? I can't remember. Now, I do have probably three of the Avocado Seniors. So I might have to get the spares. See, I'll, I'll take the hood off one of those, the worst one I've got, and see. In fact, I could go back and look at a video in, in case it gives me some clues, but that's clearly not going to secure the hood in place. It'll be okay to use, you know, I have to be careful, but yeah. So that's the first thing that's wrong with this machine. But hopefully, apart from that fault, 
it looks reasonable. Obviously, it's dirty. It's a bit scuffed up. The headlight lens is very white and not not discoloured, possibly because there's not a headlight bulb in there, and we <laughs> I don't know how long this has not had a bulb in it because these tend to yellow, don't they, on the, some of these machines. The Hoover Roundel isn't in bad condition. But, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's dirty. I expect it's going to need a thorough service, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm just going to manoeuvre the hood back. It might be easier if I take the bag off. And I'll manoeuvre the hood back in position. Whoops. And then we'll have a look at the underside. Well, the hood went back on easier than it came off. So let's turn it round. I expect this will need new brushes and certainly new belt. Looking at the brushes, yes, it does. This has got the two speed switch that increases the motor speed when you slide in the tool converter at the back. We'll have a look at the model. We can just, I can just see the rating plate there. So we'll have a look at that shortly and we'll be able to date this exactly. Don't need a screwdriver to take the plate off this version. Yes, I don't have, I'm not at home. I don't think I've got any of these belts. That is very worn, very worn belt. Very worn brushes, very dirty, a bit of rust as well. I'm not sure what the motor, well the motor just doing this sounds okay. So I will switch it on obviously in the video, but I won't be doing much cleaning. Let's pop that plate back on. This will clean up nicely, I think. This is a, a project, but I think this will look very good when it's finished. Yeah, there's rust, rust on that spring as well. But I might sacrifice one of my other seniors if I need any parts for this particular machine. I might sacrifice another one. Because they are still fairly common, the Avocado Green Senior, the Shake and Vac Senior. So, just have to be wary of the hood. So this is Hoover model U4034, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 400 to 600 watts. It's doubly insulated. It's approved by the British Electrotechnicals Approvals Board. Serial number is U4034 510009739 trademarks of Hoover Limited made by Hoover Limited Great Britain so we can say that this is U4034 5 denotes the year we know this is from the 1970s so this is from 1975 here's the bag and i would say it is original in a nice uh, chocolate brown color with the Hoover lettering Looking at it, yes, it's in good condition. It will clean up nicely. It's a wipe clean bag, Hoover used to call them. It's a sort of a plastic fabric. And the, the Hoover logo will survive a gentle wash. I'd never put this in a washing machine, hand wash. That will look a lot whiter when it's cleaned. Unlike the round Hoover logos on some soft bagged juniors and some seniors put them anywhere near water and you've lost the logo. Right, I think, uh, yeah, there is quite a lot of rusting on various parts. I think this zip could be problematic. That's gonna be problematic for me to open. This has happened before. You can spray a silicon, it's like lubricant, a clear lubricant to help get the uh, zip to work. Maybe candle wax, some say, or graphite, a pencil. There's various things you can do. I'll look up freeing a zip. Um, it does have a cloth bag in and it's bottom fill by the feel of that. So yes, the bag fits directly onto that part there. There should be a little rubber band to hold the bag in place. So it's bottom fill. I believe the Avocado Senior is a top fill design. So for the time being, I'm just going to switch this on and just see if it works for this video and we'll see an after video at some point. 
So that's the bag on. This was all thrown in, so I don't think this is a collector who understands about this sort of thing. This was just loose. These parts were just loose in the box. Could have easily got lost if the box got slightly damaged. Any of these parts could have fallen through a hole in the box, but fortunately they are still here. We do have the bottom cord hook, which is intact. These are plastic. They are prone to breaking, but it is intact. So we need to work out which side it goes on. It goes this, this side on. So we need to attach that to the handle bale. And this is the part that screws in. Monty is fascinated by this hoover. As I'm sure all of my viewers are, and probably a bit re relieved that it is not a toilet with I'm unboxing. Uh, right, so this part goes on here. I should be able to just hand tighten this for now. You, you don't need a screwdriver really, just the coin would uh, do it. And these would have been ready for assembly. When, when you bought this brand new, this is how you'd buy it. You'd buy it with the handle in two pieces, the bag not attached and there would be instructions for assembly in the instruction book so that will do for now it's hand tight next is the upper handle assembly and we've got the uh, cord do break that's yeah it's been repaired <laughs> sort of bit of tape put on there so i'll either have to shorten the cable to keep it original which is going to lose about nearly a meter of cable or replace it with another white cable so that goes over the lower handle and then we take the upper handle pop it in like so and then I need to put that over there on that side insert the bolt I think the bolt goes through first I have to line up the holes a bit tricky from this angle hang on Get my holes lined up. There we go, that's it. And then we can screw the nut onto the other side. Again, I'll hand tighten it. It's good by, it, by hand tightening it, you know you're not going to get a cross thread because if you're finding any resistance hand tightening it, you need to reposition the bolt. That'll be tight enough for the purpose of this video. And then the bag hooks on to the bag support spring like so and now we're almost ready to switch on this hoover senior the upper cord hook is intact which is a bit of a miracle but i think more of a miracle is the bottom cord hook is intact just going to very carefully turn this to the upright position because this is designed to flip down to release the cable in one go but that's the last time i'll be moving that when i use this again i'll just unwrap the cable manually because I don't want to break that. Normally it's best to let sleeping dogs lie but before I turn this cleaner on I think I better take the dogs out especially Harry here who's not very used to vacuum cleaners. Harry come on I'm sorry darling I've got to put you out of harm's way. Okie dokie, let's plug in this Hoover Senior. I've certainly heard better sounding vacuum cleaners than this one. Let's take a look at the eBay listing, what the description was. Hoover Senior Ranger, model U4034, vintage slash retro vacuum cleaner. Yes, well it is, that model. It is vintage and retro. I'll give the seller that. Genuine attic find. Well, I don't see any reason to 
say the seller's lying about that. They, I expect they did find it in an attic. Plugged in and working. Cable does appear to have been repaired at some point, which yes, it has. Repaired, not really repaired. A bit of tape has been put around it. Plugged in and working. Well, yes, I suppose it does sort of work, but that sounds absolutely appalling. I think though, a lot of that rattling could be the agitator. And like I say, I think I have three of these, uh, the avocado green seniors. So if I have to sacrifice a brush roll from one of those, I will do. Although I've probably got a new brush roll in my stock. Now, yeah. Now clearly there was a lot, there wasn't a lot of beating and sweeping action because that belt is far, far too slack. As soon as the brush was touching the carpet, it, it was stalling. Yeah, that needs a good refurbishment. That brush roll, the, the agitator body is in terrible condition. The motor sounds smooth. I'm going to try it without the brush roll on uh, by just disengaging the belt so we can hear the motor on its own. But I'll just quickly turn on again with the brush roll exposed. That don't sound too healthy. <laughs> so I think a lot of the noise is coming from the agitator. So we'll soon find out. Now I'm going to release the belt and we'll just listen to the motor on its own. So yes, as I suspected, I think the motor sounds fine to me. So the whole problem is in this, there'll be very worn bearings. I mean, it could just need refurbishing, new bearings put in, new brushes, cleaned up, but that's quite loose in there as well. Ah, mmm. Uh. There seems to be some, ah, oh, what's happened here? Did this, hmm, I'm not sure if that's right. One of these uh, doodah springy things on this machine. I don't know. Oh, it's just, yeah. But looking at this part here, that does look a bit dodgy. That's worn. It's quite sharp, I think. Yeah, there's been a repair made, I think, on this. Mm, so, there's damage to the main casting. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I've got three Avocado Green Ranger Seniors. I was going to sell two of them and keep the nicest one, but it looks like I'll be using one of them as a spares machine. And not only am I going to... Oh, that's not even going to go back in. Um, there we go. Not only I'm going to have to probably have the brush roll out of it, oh, it's possible I might have to replace the whole casting and it should be the same under this hood. In fact, I could just take the hood, that's an idea, I could just take the hood off this, bung it on the Avocado Green Ranger Senior that works. Probably won't do that, but yeah, I think. As I said, I'm lucky to have a spares machine because I think I'm going to need it for this very rough Hoover Senior. So there we go, that's the end of today's video showing you another vintage Hoover cleaner from the 70s. There's pros and cons with this machine. More pros and cons, I think. This machine will, one day, look and sound a lot better than it does at the moment. Everything is there. Mostly everything is intact, certainly the cosmetic parts, they're okay, the bag's okay, the hood 
will be okay. Um, it's just basically, it's the brush roll and possibly the main chassis might need swapping over with another donor machine. But, you know, given some time and uh, effort, I think I can get this machine humming again like it should. New headlight, a nice HEPA style bag, all cleaned, lubricated and ready for a demo. When that will be, I couldn't possibly say, but uh, stay tuned folks, because you will see this again one day, God permitting, if I'm still here. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this Hoover Ranger, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.